and we've made it to Newport. <laughs> Heyo, welcome to the vid. Today I am getting luggage because that's what I do for my job. We're picking up luggage and then we are headed off to Boston, at least the Boston area. We're spending the next three days kind of around there just doing various tours. Oh, I'm so tired. It is. What time is it? 7.30 in the morning, which isn't even that early. I'm just exhausted. Oh my god. Okay, so there's one working elevator in this hotel of like 12, 15 floors, something like that. So I just got done running up and down stairs for the last half hour. We're supposed to leave in 10 minutes. I haven't showered yet, so I'm gonna quickly do that. Oh, this is not cool, okay. Also gotta pack up some of my stuff. All right, shower done and I have five minutes left. I have not filled up the cooler with ice yet. Connor still hasn't come and packed up his stuff yet, so we're supposed to leave in five minutes. I don't think we're going to. <sighs> What an adventure. All right, first stop of the day. We are in Connecticut somewhere. On our way to Rhode Island, um, we're buying some water, filling up the bus with gas, and I've been editing photos in the back of the bus all morning, so. Here we go, also, coffee. And we've made it to Newport. <laughs> um, just had some mussels at some place with the posse, the tour posse. I'll call us that. We just have another 30 minutes to spend on Bowen's Wharf. Bowen's Wharf in Newport, Rhode Island. I'm gonna go find some lobsters to look at. What a nice little town. There's even a pumpkin patch here. <laughs> oh, how fun. Um, I am currently waiting for Connor. We are going to buy some booze for their social hour happening once we get to the hotel tonight, but I have no idea where he is. My phone is also going to die soon, so I don't know what the plan is. I'm kind of lost, but it's okay. It's okay, it's all right. Look at this cute little pumpkin patch. The only problem with this place is that everything is very overpriced. They've got so many shops and things for all these tourists to go to. This is a common area for um, cruises. A lot of cruise lines come and stop here and they let them off and they shop and eat. Because last year we were here, there's a bunch of people trying to get on and off their cruise. We are mostly done with Newport. Now we are headed to a mansion. What mansion? I don't know. I'm really not into the whole mansion thing and all the antique stuff. I don't really understand why it's so cool. A bunch of old things, antique things, famous people, giant houses. Whatever, I gotta get on the bus though. <laughs>
audio tour of the Breaker Mansion. I listened to an audio tour that lasted probably a good hour, hour and a half, and I don't really know what it's about. <laughs> it's the same tour that we went on last year. However, this time, they let me bring my camera in. Last time I couldn't like take pictures inside. We have arrived in Braintree, wherever that is. It's by Boston though, so we're going into, I think we're going to Plymouth Rock tomorrow, and then Boston the next few days. I don't know. We just got done eating at a race go-kart place. It was so cool. I recorded a little bit on my phone because I didn't bring my camera. But yeah, there's just like these dudes driving around in these go-karts that go 40 miles an hour. <laughs> Um, anyway, I am probably just going to go to bed. Connor's talking to the other director guy to figure out what's going on tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say today. We are halfway done with the trip, I think. Close to. Anyway, off to bed. So do us right, and you will see me tomorrow.